happy March Through History Month. So it is the first day of the month, and I'm trying to decide what to read. So you've seen my TBR, I'm not going to like drag the whole thing out, but I have two options to start, and I don't know which one to start with. I'm either going to read White Rose by Kip Wilson. This is short. Well, not really short, but it's written in verse, so it should read pretty fast. So I'm tempted to start here because I want to kick off the month with a successful feeling, like I'm accomplishing things by reading my TBR, and I feel like something that's quick and easy to read would be beneficial for that. But I also really want to read this because it's about Sophie Scholl and the German resistance during World War II. And I don't know, I just think it would be a really interesting story. I've heard a lot of good things about it. My other option, which I'm still, I'm going to read both of these, but I don't know which to start with. And it is The Hunger by Amakatsu. I really, really want to read this. Also, I have pre-ordered her new book, which I think is called The Deep. It might be The Deep. And that one's about the Titanic. And that's coming in like a week and a half or something, like really soon. And I wanted to read this first. Not that it's a series or anything, but like I want to know what her writing is like and if I'm going to like it or not. So maybe I'll start with this. I feel like this one might take me a little bit longer, but also it's Donner Party and Supernatural. And I feel like it's probably fast paced. So I don't know. I'm going to eeny, meeny, miny, mow it probably and make a decision so I can get started. I haven't read anything yet and it's like 1130. So I need to, I need to start something. So that is my goal for the day is to pick a book and get reading. And I'll update you later once I've done that. I did not check back in earlier because I just didn't but I did read a little bit of the hunger uh, but I only got like a chapter in so I've read the prologue and the first chapter and I liked it I'm intrigued so I, I'm very interested to see where it goes because I mean I know the story of the Donner party and what happens to them but I have no idea even yet how the supernatural element is going to work so <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so I'm very curious to see where it goes. I'm about to sit and read some more. I'm cozy. I've got my Snuggie and apparently toys. My husband is beside me and he doesn't want to be on camera, but he's about to be if he keeps sticking toys in, in frame. So I'm going to read some more in a minute. Um, not too much else happened today. We went and played Pokemon Go for a while and um, I made dinner, so... Not the most exciting day, but it was relaxing. So I'm going to read. I might edit later. I have a video I need to edit. But I don't know if I'm going to get to that tonight because I'm kind of not in the mood to watch my face and listen to my voice. So I think I'm just going to read and call it a night. So I'll check back in with you guys tomorrow and I'll tell you more about what I'm thinking about the hunger. Good morning. It is currently very early. What is it? Yeah, it's just after 9 o'clock, so it's early on Monday morning. It is just after 9 o'clock, and I've been up for about an hour. I had some breakfast. I made some tea. My plan today, I'm going to be reading The Hunger, which I just took this off because I just can't read a hardcover with this, the dust jacket. So, But it's very pretty. I like the green it's lovely. So I'm going to work on this today. I'm going to hopefully try to finish it by tomorrow because my goal was to read two books a week. So my, I have to finish it by Wednesday if I'm going to do two books in the week. We'll see. So anyway, that is my plan today. I'm going to read The Hunger. I got about 50 pages in, so I've read like the whole like first section. And so far, I really like it. 
Um, I don't really have too much new to say about it yet because not not a whole lot has happened. Like, they're just heading out. They're no, they're like about to go take the um the wrong turn basically, and the Hastings cut off or whatever, and they've been warned. And there was a scene where like they find a whole lot of letters that are like turn back, turn back, turn back, and that was creepy. I liked that. And so there's there's definitely a lot of ominous things happening. This is such a good like it like building tension, like really ominous, dark. You know that bad things are coming. I mean, honestly, the story's historically bad things are coming, but like the way it's written, you can kind of see the tension just building and I like that. It's so far, I'm enjoying it. I also have a huge video to edit. I I uploaded it to my computer to edit and it was like 51 minutes so uh, but it is the level 5 updated book list video so I must get through it I'm hoping I can whittle it down to like half an hour because 51 minutes is a lot so that has to get done today but other than that I don't really have a whole lot to do those are like the two things that I had to get through we're on break for school because Sarah's home and Regina just can't function if her sister's home. So I, I told her she could have the week off and that would give me some time to kind of decompress a bit from the craziness of February. And anyway, I'm rambling at this point. So I'm going to go, I'm going to read and then edit. And then apparently I'm getting sucked into watching a BTS something at some point today. But I don't know. I'm going to check back in later though, when I've done something to talk about. Just kidding, I almost forgot something. I was going to say that I've been reading at night on my Kindle, The Girl with the Red Balloon by Catherine Locke, and it's really good. And that would also count towards historical fantasy because it involves magic and time travel. But that one, it's about a girl who grabs hold of a balloon. She's on a trip with her class in Germany, and she touches a balloon string and gets sucked into, like, 1988, I think? Pretty sure it's 1988 and she's in East Berlin and they have to figure out how to get her back because she messed up some system they had for hiding people to get over the wall and somehow there was a chronological anomaly and she ends up time traveling instead of whatever the balloon was meant to do and so you see like her time traveling from modern day to right before the wall comes down, I think. And then it also jumps back even further because her grandfather was a Holocaust survivor. And we jump back in time into 1941 and see him and his family at this point in the story. I'm early in. I'm only like maybe 20% of the way through. But we see him and his family going into the Lodes ghetto. So I'm really liking it. It's very good. I highly recommend it so far. <laughs> I'm only 20%, but I'm like, the writing is really good. So I, I'm, I think I'm going to like the whole book. So I'm very excited to see where it goes because so far I'm really enjoying it. Okay, but now I am going to go. I'm going to go do things. I am in editing hell. I did it. First pass done. And I went from 51 minutes and whatever seconds to 32 minutes and 26 seconds. So I'm pleased. I don't know. I might I have to go back through one more time. I might whittle it down a smidge more, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be in the 30 minute range once it's all done. But hopefully it'll be up tomorrow on the YouTubes. So by the time you're seeing this vlog, it'll have already been up for days. But, you know, now you see the process. The chaos behind the much more organized looking video. It is now Tuesday and I've gotten a kind of a slow late start to my day, but I have been semi-productive. I was working on editing the never-ending video. <laughs> it's just forever. But I think I'm going to finish it today and upload it later this afternoon. I'm like halfway, no, three quarters of the way, I think, through my final edit. So 
I'm anticipating that being done and up this afternoon. I'm excited for that to be off my list of things to do. So basically my plan for the day is to get that done and I'll read some more of The Hunger. I did get a little bit further yesterday, but I'm still like, like maybe, I don't know, a third of the way in or so. I'm about 120 pages into the book and I am really liking it. It's very dark, very ominous, very creepy. Like there's a lot of things happening that, you know, can be interpreted as this is just a thing because the Donner Party took the wrong path and, you know, bad things are going to happen anyway to them because historically bad things happen to them, but they can also be interpreted as, okay, something really creepy is happening. Like there's this entity that is following another group and like there's no wildlife because this entity, whatever it is, has eaten everything in in the area it's very like there's something following them and that's creepy enough but also like you keep hearing about the backstories of some of the characters being a little bit maybe unsavory or not who they say they are and i like that i like the mystery behind like are they are they causing this is someone with them making a problem worse and I don't know, I'm enjoying it so far, though. The writing is really good. Like, she's really good at building the tension. Like, I can feel, like, the tension is thick. So, my goal is to get at least halfway today, but maybe further in this book. I'm just reading a lot slower than I anticipated. I thought I was going to fly through this, but I just haven't had the time to really devote to that. But I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on some level five stuff. I have some activity pages I wanted to get started on. And I kind of gave myself the weekend and yesterday to like not even look at it. So I, I've got to sit down and work on that some more today. You know, typical stuff. It's also really nice out. It's like almost 60 degrees. It looks like spring. I don't know. We might go outside. It is now almost six o'clock in the evening. I read some more this afternoon and I'm about just about halfway in The Hunger. And I'm understanding what it is now that this like supernatural element. I mean, I don't think this is a spoiler. It's the Donner Party. I wondered going in, I knew it was supernatural and I wondered how that would work with the cannibalism because I feel like it should have kept the cannibalism. Is it a monster attacking and eating people in this? What is happening? But no, there is still cannibalism. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. It's very dark and very like brooding. Like there's a heaviness to the story. I'm very much looking forward to my next book already because I'm like craving something light and fluffy. So I think when I finish this, I'm probably going to pick up bringing down the Duke because 
that's probably the fluffiest thing I have on my TBR. I'm going to need a palette cleanser after this, I think. I, I'm liking it, don't get me wrong, but it's just very dark and very creepy. So I'm I'm excited to see like how it progresses. Like I have hopes that it gets even darker than it is now and like really gross and stuff because if you're gonna do it, go all in. So I'm gonna probably read a little more tonight. Um been watching Lock and Key with Sarah and Robbie, so we're probably gonna watch some more of that tonight because we only watched one episode last night, so I wanted to try to binge it this week so that we could watch it while Sarah was here, but I don't know if we'll do that or not. But we'll probably watch another episode or two of that this evening. That's really, that's my plans for tonight. I got the book list video uploaded this afternoon, so that was like a huge accomplishment for the week, really. Next, I gotta like get the whole list hyperlinked on the website, but that's time consuming, but a little bit easier than editing that behemoth of a video. So I'm probably going to breeze through that in a day or two. And yeah, I'm just trying to relax as much as I can this week since we're not actually doing school. It's sort of a break for me too, but I don't want to give in too much to that because I do still have a bunch of stuff to do. But yeah, I'm going to try to read some more of The Hunger. I'm, it's going a little bit slower than I anticipated, I think because it's so dark and ominous and like just really broody feeling that it's just kind of slower than I expected. I thought I was going to breeze through it, honestly. But yeah, I'm hoping I can read some more tonight and, and get through. Also, same with The Girl with the Red Balloon. I'm reading that as well at night on my Kindle. That also is pretty dark. I mean, it's not depressing or anything, but it does have some dark elements to it. I mean, this girl time travels to East Berlin in the 80s when things are looking dire and she's stuck there until they figure out how the time travel magic works and can send her back. So that's pretty like depressing to read about her like, well, I guess I might be stuck here. <laughs> Better get used to it. Um, and you know, Holocaust stuff in there too. So that's also kind of a dark book. I'm going to definitely need some fluffy, lighthearted fun once I'm done with this. Also today, I got a new book in the mail, Prairie Lotus. Let me turn it around so you guys can actually see it. Prairie Lotus by Linda Sue Park came out today. I had pre-ordered this because I was researching stuff for level five. And when I saw that this was going to be out in March, it takes place in 1880, so a little past level five, but I was super excited to get my hands on it because I really hope that this will work in level six because I just adore Linda Sue Park's books. And the fact that she wrote a book about a half Chinese girl in the Dakota Territory in the 1880s, dealing with all of that, the prejudice and stuff that comes with being other in that time, I'm very excited to get into this and it's pretty short. I don't know. I might binge this this month. I might add it to my TBR because I just really want to read it. Also, the cover is just so pretty. I adore it. So anyway, I'm going to go read for a little bit and then watch some TV. Oh, it's Wednesday and it is like one o'clock, one thirty. Then and I haven't done like much reading today, but I'm gonna. I did read a little bit this morning. I think I'm like officially halfway <laughs> in The Hunger and I'm hoping to just burn through the last half in the next day or two because I'm 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 enjoying it, but I'm also ready to move on because it's just a really dark book and I just don't want to be in the darkness. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Sarah's laughing at me. Okay? But huh? Are you okay? I'm not okay. <laughs> So I would like to move on, but so far I am enjoying it. It's really well written. Like I said, she, she's really good at building the tension, but sometimes I feel like we could move a little faster because there's just a lot of buildup before we even get to like any of the actual like violent things. Although there is some of that scattered throughout. So I don't know if I'm, I'm not explaining it well, honestly, but I'm hopefully going to finish it in the next day or so. Other than that, I honestly I haven't done much today besides binge the soundtrack to Six the Musical because 
I just like accidentally found it. <laughs> like somebody mentioned it somewhere on social media and I went, wait, what? So I had to go and look it up and oh my God, why did no one tell me? I'm obsessed and I'm, I'm gonna lose hours and hours of pro productive time to just like trying to learn the lyrics to all the songs because <laughs> I just want to be all of them. I want to I want to do like a one woman show of six. That would be amazing. <laughs> then no one would ever want to watch that. My plans for today are obviously to read, but I also want to get some stuff done for Build Your Library things. Um, I just put dinner in the crock pot because I didn't feel like having to fool with it at four o'clock. So it'll be in the crock pot. We're having a pork tenderloin with like a pineapple-y teriyaki sauce, sort of, and rice. And I'll make some sort of vegetable. I don't know what yet. But I'll worry about the vegetable later when I make the rice. This is how boring my day is today, honestly. It's very dull. I'm going to drink some tea and read, and I'll see you guys later. It's Thursday, and I really don't have anything to update with right now. I have 100 pages left in The Hunger. And... My goal is to finish it today because I just want to be done with it at this point. I, and like, it's not a negative against the book, but I'm just like, it's so dark and ju just kind of depressing. And I want something a little more light. So I'm looking forward to, to leaving the Donner Party behind <laughs> so I can go and like have some light, fluffy, happy historical fiction. But I am really liking it, though. This is, is like so interesting the way she's like kind of given the, these people a voice, I guess, and, and given them so much backstory that, I don't know, and I'm curious to know, like, how much of it is, like, really accurate and how much of it is just her perception of what she thinks they would have been like, because, honestly, I don't know that much about them, about these people who were in the Donner Party, and, and, like, there's just so much here about, like, their lives, and she makes them feel very vivid. And I really like the character study aspect of the story. And like I said, the, the writing is so good. It's very ominous, very bleak, very, like, you know, awful things are coming. Not just because it's the Donner Party, but because, like, there's just this buildup to this ominous thing that you know is about to happen any moment, but hasn't yet. And it's just creeping around them and closing in. And there's also a lot of, like, the dynamic of all of these people working together and their their group is crumbling around them like everyone's starting to fight and starting to like get angry at each other and i i enjoy that like i said i have 100 pages left i should be able to do this today um i also i'm about halfway through the girl with the red balloon and i'm liking that a lot too i just haven't really had time to read that much at night i get so tired by night time that i'm just i'm not feeling it i just go to sleep Last night, I think I might have read two pages before I was just like, nope, done. I must sleep. So that's taken me longer, but I'll probably have it done next week. I don't anticipate fin um, I might finish it this weekend. I don't Although it's very, it's got that very YA-ness to it, <laughs> if that's a thing. It's a, it is a young adult book, but it does have like the whole like romance aspect that I don't necessarily need in a story like that. I mean, where does that go? She's time traveling. You can't have a real relationship. Once she goes back to her time, like, that doesn't work anymore. I don't know. It's a little weird. And I don't know where that's going to go in the story. So, what else do I have planned today? I need to do some more work on level 5 stuff. I've been keeping track of how the timeline figures are coming. And they're looking good. I'm excited. That's going to be fun. I can't wait to see them all finished. And, like, it's going to be so cool. But... Anyway, I am going to try to wrap this up now and go get some things done, fix some lunch. It's like noon already. My day has been slow because I'm going to blame it on... Stop. I'm going to blame my like delayed start today to six the musical because that is where my brain is. I'm trying to learn all the lyrics because <laughs> I don't know how to... Like, just listen to a musical, I must then, like, learn all of the songs and become the musical. So, I've been trying to pick my role. Am I an Anne Boleyn or a Katherine Howard? I like both of their songs the best, but I can't decide which one suits me the most, <laughs> I think. 
Ah, uh, yeah. I, I missed my calling. Anyway, I'm going to go and try to get some things accomplished today. It is now Friday and this lighting is terrible. Let me adjust myself here, but I was coming to tell you that I finished it. So hold on, let me move myself here so you guys can actually see me. Oh, look, there I am. Okay, so I finished the hunger today. Like it was my mission. I wanted to finish it yesterday. I was really close, but I just, it didn't happen for whatever reason, but I finished it today and I am like kind of relieved that I'm done with it. It was just very, not what I was in the mood for. I liked it. I enjoyed the story. There, it was really ominous and like you could feel the tension and the suspense build, but there were parts that just seemed to kind of drag and I found myself like skimming to get through. And then there were parts that were really great. So I think I like Almakatsu's writing and I, I'm definitely interested in reading her new book, which comes out like next week. So in a few days, I'll have my copy of The Deep by her. And I'm, I'm still going to read that. That's about um, the Titanic. I don't know exactly. I think it's a, similar to this, where it's some sort of supernatural force entity dooms the Titanic. But I really liked how this was done. I liked the concept and it, I liked that it still held to what actually happened while still adding in this extra element of danger. So anyway, I gave this like 3.5 stars and I don't know, I might round that up a little more in the future, like after I've sat on the story for a little while and digested it more. Ha! Digested it. Get it? Get it? Anyway, so now I don't know what to read next because what I'm really in the mood for is tutors. Like I've been obsessed with the musical six, like for the last like two or three days, I've just been like, that's all, all I've been doing. So I'm tempted to jump into this because what I'm honestly, what I want is a Katherine Howard story because she's my favorite in six. Like, Honestly, she's one of my favorite of Henry's wives anyway. Her and Anne are both my two favorites. So I tend to read mostly Anne books. But I do have this, and this is a Katherine Howard story, but I've never read anything by Jean Platy, so I don't know if I'm going to like it. What I don't want to see is um, like a romanticized version of her relationships with the men that but basically like manipulated her. I don't want to see, especially Culpepper, I don't want to see it portrayed as a romance, but I feel like that's what this is going to do. But I'm still tempted to read it because I have it. Although I will say it's funny. I, I picked this up at our town recycling center because I saw that it was um, one of the wives of Henry VIII. I didn't even know what it was until a few days ago. <laughs> But I picked this up because I'd heard the title before and I knew it was a Tudor novel. I didn't really look at it too much. And yesterday when I was talking about it with Sarah and she wanted to smell it, I opened it up and I realized that this is a large print version. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think I've ever read a book that was large print. It's either going to make it a really fast read or it's going to really throw me off. So I don't know. This is an option. Another option, let me walk over to my TBR stack. So on a completely different note, I have White Rose by Kip Wilson, which I still really want to read. This is a novel in verse, and it is about Sophie Scholl and the German resistance during World War II. So completely different from the other book. And finally, my third option is Bringing Down the Duke, which is a book that I've been really wanting to read and was going to be my next story to jump into after the hunger because I felt like this would be a nice like palate cleanser <laughs> a nice fun fluffy story to like clear my brain of all that dark and eerie spookiness but I don't know if I'm in the mood for this or if I really just want a Tudor story I don't know so 
that is the great debate. What will I read next? I'm going to sit and think on it. I might do like a chapter challenge thing, like, you know, read a chapter from each book and see which speaks to me the most. So that might be a thing I do. And then I'll let you know what I'm going to end up reading. I also have Alison Weir's book on Anne Boleyn, but it's enormous. So I don't know if I'm going to pick that up this month just because I know I'm going to like it, but it's also so long that it would probably take me like two weeks to read. And this is a readathon, people. I want to try to read as much as I can. But I did pre-order her new book. That is Catherine Howard. And so that comes out in May. So that's exciting. I, I knew she was writing All of the Wives. I, for some reason, thought she'd finished, but she has not. The, so Catherine Howard's novel comes out in May. Enough rambling. I'm going to pick a book and I'll let you know what I end up reading. So my options are like a fluffy, happy feminist romance, German resistance during World War II, or tragic romance, historical story. What should I pick? I cannot decide. Sarah, which one would you read? Which one is it? Happy romance, tragic romance, or fighting Nazis? Remember, I wasn't particularly calling you out to me, so... Well, I didn't ask you which ones are calling to you. Which ones do you think are calling to me? I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm voting happy romance. You're voting happy romance? Yeah. That's probably my best choice because I'm already kind of in a funk from reading The Hunger. I feel like that was just putting my brain in a dark place and I want something less dark. So I think, I think I'm going to go with Bringing Down the Duke. I feel like this, this might be a good choice. So I think I'm going to read Bringing Down the Duke next. Hello! It's actually Saturday now oh, and are you talking yeah, to? I'm vlogging. Want to say hi? Who are you people? <laughs> it's Saturday. We're running around. I had to get some blood work done. What? Regina had to go to the dentist. And so... my teeth are beautiful. Look at my at Yes, my your teeth. teeth are lovely. And so now we're still out. We're going to go get some groceries and, and stuff. I started reading Bringing Down the Duke last night, which I don't have with me because I'm out and about and I don't didn't have time to read this morning but I'm gonna be reading it later today and I really like it so far I'm only like two chapters in but it's definitely holding my attention and so I'm excited to read more of that later I'll let you guys know later what my thoughts are on the book I'll do sort of a wrap-up and end of this vlog so I'll see you then so I realized I did not end my vlog, so I thought I'd do a really quick just wrap up. Excuse my hair, I just got out of the shower and realized that I needed to do this. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do it now. Who cares, really, honestly. So for the first week of the March Through History Readathon, I read The Hunger, and this is by Almakatsu, and I finished this book and I really liked it, though it was very dark and, um, I don't know. I, I have mixed feelings because I think it was just the wrong time for me to read it. But I did like it. I like the writing a lot. I do look forward to reading her next book. So I already talked about it all throughout the vlog. I'm not going to do that again. I also started reading Bringing Down the Duke by E.B. Dunmore. I haven't gotten very far. I think I'm only, <clears throat> I only read the first five chapters and so far it's fine. It's not like riveting, but I'm hoping I'm going to like it. But um, this is very different from what I usually read since it is like a, a romance and I just, I don't know how I'm going to feel about it, but I'm going to try to finish this this week and I don't know. We'll see what I think, but so far it's okay. And I'm also halfway through The Girl with a Red Balloon by Catherine Locke and that again is very okay. I need a really good book. I need to read something awesome because I'm feeling like everything I've picked up has been a three. And I haven't had like a five in a while and I need that. So hopefully this week I will remedy that problem. But anyway, that was my first week of the readathon. I hope it's going well for you. I'm very excited to see what everyone's reading. I have lots of ideas in my head for things I want to do this month, like revolving around the readathon. Like I was thinking of making a, histor a historical fiction reading tag. I was thinking of doing a video about Philippa Gregory's books because I talk about her, th her a lot on my channel, but I don't think I've ever really talked about her as an author and her books. So maybe I'll do that. I'm, I'm excited for the rest of this month. So I hope you guys are having fun with the readathon and let me know down below 
what you read this week and what was your favorite book so far of the readathon. So let's chat about it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Happy reading. Bye.